Okay, so the brand new hero is out. Cursed Hunter. We gotta go ahead and hire her. Now, of course, um, keep in mind that we're gonna be testing her, but also she's gonna be gray grade. So if there is a couple of heroes that absolutely need to be gold to reach their max potential, especially in Colosseum, is tanks and assassins. So I just want to know how she's gonna operate. After that, I'm not really too particularly bothered as far as her damage because I know her damage right now is going to be lower than I would want it to be. But she's great, great. So you can't really, uh, you know, judge it too harshly. And let's see, what else do I need? It's, oh, okay. So I guess, that, I guess that's all I needed. Okay, so let's go ahead and give her her items, which I should have pretty much every single one. Uh, there we go. Equip, equip, equip. There we go. And I guess I guess you guys don't have to stick around for this. I'll go ahead and cut out. Okay, so let's go ahead and promote her all the way up. Uh, three hour, three hour, and then I think a one hour. There we go. Free. Pow! So, let's go ahead and get her their last items. You know what's really annoying? This little fusing items at the end. Like, it's, it's just so annoying. I mean, yeah, I have all the items, but... Doing all this fusing, 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 like fusing one item, that way you can fuse another item. L l look at this, look at this. Like, come on, man. What, what? I gotta fuse two items to get one item to then fuse it to another item to... Ugh. But anyway, look, look at this. Like, why? 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 Oh my goodness. Just... Why? Good thing that I already have all of these items because if I didn't, my god. Okay, but there we go. She's completely trophied out, if you will, um, which is a very important thing in Colosseum. But outside of that, she's rank 8, and unfortunately, she is still just gray. So, like I said, her damage is probably not going to be up to par. But we're not really here to check on damage per se. I just want to see her mechanics. Win or not, I want to see how she's going to operate. So, um, instead of Femme Fatale, I'm going to go ahead and use her just to see if she operates kind of similar to, um, of course, freaking Demon Slayer. But, this should be a favorable matchup for her because she should jump on the Petite Devil. I also want to see her shield and her heal at work, especially... Since there is a Rose Knight. The Rose Knight and Curse Hunter duo might really be strong. So let's, let's just go ahead and see. Let's see. Now I might pause it a couple times just to see. But let's see what she does here at the beginning. Uh, okay, let's see. So she doesn't jump right away. Uh, so she's like a, a shade in that regard. There she goes. She jumps. Unfortunately, she uh, gets hit by the Petite Devil. And it looks like I'm just going to get destroyed. Actually, maybe not. There goes her proc. Now, she is gray gray. She's probably going to bite the dust right now. Maybe not. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. There she jumps. Hold the phone. Did she just take out the witch doll along with the... There goes her proc. Oh, my God. Yeah, somebody sent milk. It's... Guys... This is going to spell trouble. She's gray grade, guys. She's doing nowhere near her damage that she would normally do. This is trouble, guys. Now, I'm not saying trouble, like, for me. Well, I guess technically, yeah, that is trouble for me, too. But... This is trouble. Not only did she survive a Petite Devil proc, she was completely in sync with... Demon Slayer. I need to... Oh, I didn't notice her shield. Because I was just taking... Uh, did somebody hit me or did I just not check? Okay. Um, I didn't notice her using her shield. So I need to I need to take a look at that animation. What does that look like? Um, let me see. Because you can, you can definitely tell Rose Knight's animation. Let me see. I think that's it right there. When it turns into green-ish, let me turn it around. That way I can see her closer. Uh, okay, there goes her proc, which that can deal a bunch of damage. 
Okay, here is the Demon Slayer proc. But watch what happens when Demon Slayer jumps over. She literally follows him. She was like, where you going, bro? I'm coming with you. Look at that. Boom, boom. And watch. Boom. Bow. This is trouble. There goes her proc. Bow, 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 bow. And yeah. This is, this is going to be so much. And then there was her proc right there. I'm almost certain that that was her, her heal. The, the little green shield. Yeah, that has to be the little, um, what, what is it called? Holy, holy protection or something like that? I already forgot the name, but when she has that little green shield, that must be, uh, her little skill that she uses that heals and also takes damage. Restores 3.5, uh, HP to an ally. Divine War shields up to, yeah, so this has to be it. The holy protection. So that little green shield. Now... What's important here is going to be how fast does she use the shield at the beginning? Because I know Rose Knight uses it pretty early on. But if they don't stagger, that's going to be great. So she hasn't used So she just used it. And that actually helped her take some damage away from Petite Devil, which probably kept her alive, to be honest. There goes her proc. There goes Demon Slayer Silence. And then watch this. Boom, boom, jump over, watch, ah, pow, if she was gold, by the way, that, um, that lore weaver would have gone down at the same time right there as well, just keep that in mind, oof, like I said, she's going to be problems, let me see what Ace has got, so he also has a petite double here, um, there's also, uh, a shade which might not be the greatest but let's let's see her in action here oh okay okay that's that's cool now this one right here is not a favorable matchup for her because demon slayer would go over to the grove guardian and that's definitely not favorable to her but what if i use something like um him and her because what usually happens is that she's not gonna jump right away but neither is shade but if they jump at around the same time that might actually be beneficial now the problem is that i don't know if we're gonna have the firepower to win but i just want to see that interaction because i know that she's not gonna jump over right away like a demon slayer so let's just let's just see how this goes um, because Shade could be a decent partner for her as well. I just don't think it's going to be as good as Demon Slayer. Just just going off of what they actually do. Uh, okay, so there goes her healing. She goes and jumps. Oh, her proc is going to come out. Oh, that's not going to be good because she's going to get hit. Oh, they took something out though. I think they took out the Witch Doll, which is very beneficial, let me tell you. I don't know if we'll still win though, but... That is actually really big. Um, don't know if we're going to win, though, to be honest. It's all going to depend on the shade. What is the shade going to do? The shade is going to hit the... Yeah, that's. it's going to be too late, though. For he silenced, he silenced the Lore Weaver, but it was a bit too late. She was able to get her heal off and everything. So, unless we get a real good proc right here. Right, yeah. I don't know, I don't know if we're going to win this. But that looked really promising. And who knows, if she was not just a gray grade hero, she might have actually survived that as well. So, we'll see. The shade get- Oh no, my Lore Weaver gets taken out. Actually, you know what? If my Lore Weaver would have stayed alive there, who knows? Um, and then, of course, the shade doesn't go directly for the Lore Weaver. So, yeah, I can see her working with shade, but I don't think it's going to be one of those, like, uh, matchups that you would prefer. Did he just change? I mean, I'm not really trying to win too much, my guy, but... Um, let's see. This is one that I've always... Once I saw her, I, I kind of always wanted to see in action. Because three assassins... But let's let's see this interaction. So, Demon Slayer, Femme Fatale, she jumped right away. Then she would, she would jump, like, about a couple seconds after. But again, this is not a favorable matchup because... Well, there's that. Because Demon Slayer might not jump because of the uh, the random uh, stun. But, 
Let's see what happens. Oh, well, she's dead already. Well, there you go. But regardless, I feel like she is really going to be strong. I feel like she's going to be super strong, especially especially in uh, once you get it to gold grade and she's all... Oh, my God. So once I get her to a more decent level, like uh, maybe purple or so, you can really start seeing her damage come out. But until then, she's probably going to be uh, not seeing too much action. Uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys for watching. And until later, bye.